How's it going, everyone? This is our Jersey Collection episode. So we're going to start with my sisters and the dogs, and then we'll move into mine and my dad's. Welcome to the long-anticipated Philadelphia jerseys, all Philadelphia jerseys episode. We're going to start today with Fletch and Lottie. Lottie is displaying her Philadelphia Eagles jersey. Very nice. And Lottie also has a Philadelphia 76ers jersey. Fletch down here is displaying his 01 Phillies jersey, the classic pinstripes that he loves so much. And Fletch also has a hockey jersey for when it's colder out. So those are our four dog jerseys. Hello, this is my segment. This is my union jersey. Wow, used to be Jackson's. And no, that's not a bad word. It's a bread company. Okay, next is this Ryan Howard jersey because Ryan Howard is my favorite baseball player. And that's that. This is one of my probably most special jersey that I have because I wore this jersey to dance on the dugout with the Philly Fanatic. Insert picture here if you can do that. But yeah, that was fun. This is another Fanatic jersey that was a giveaway at the Philly Stadium. And we didn't even get to see the game because we had a flight, huh? And we had to go catch the flight. This is a Drew jersey that was Jackson's because Drew is everyone's favorite. Even gritty. This is my newest jersey, Joel Embiid, my favorite sixer right now. Okay, bye. So those are Shay's six jerseys. We will have to get her an Eagles one. Glaring omission. <laughs> Thanks. I have 33 jerseys in my collection. Uh, the first one I have here is the one I'm wearing. This is my current Chase Utley jersey. It is a World Series championship jersey. Uh, we had to add the 26 over here on the side because I'm like that and I always want to make sure everything's official. Here's the back. Simple, Utley. And I got this jersey because it's basically the same as one of my first jerseys. I got this one when I was very, very small. Uh, I was wearing this one up to 2013 uh, when I threw out the first pitch, which is almost the anniversary of that first pitch. You can see I got a Fighting Phil's Fan club patch over here, Robin Roberts patch, and the World Series patch. So definitely probably my favorite jersey that I own because uh, it was my first. And yeah. Next one, Bryce Harper jersey. Added the three to the side uh, to make it more official. And we also added a MLB 150 logo on this side. So from the 2019 season, there's a the Harper on the back. Next is my custom jersey. It's a retro jersey out of the patch on the side. The coloring up here is kind of off. That's okay, though. And it's mine. <laughs> Sorry about that. Next one, Scott Kingery, Players Weekend, the all black with jetpacks on the back. Definitely one of the coolest ones that I have. Uh, definitely the coolest nickname on the Phillies. Next one. Roy Halladay. This one came with the numbers on the side. Uh, this one looks really good. Um, Phillies, obviously. Or else would it be all Philly jerseys? Roy Halladay. Next one. Reese Hoskins. Gray road jersey. Simple. Then Andrew McCutcheon. The cream alternate jerseys. McCutcheon has been one of my favorite players for a long time, even before he was on the Phillies. I liked him when he was with the Pirates. And now the Phillies are basically just the Pirates and the Yankees merged together. So, yeah. Next, we have a Williamsport Crosscutters jersey. Uh, I think it was a 4th of July jersey for them. I picked this up when I went to a game. Number 16, uh, this patch. This is uh, some Army logo, I can't remember. And then American flag and the back. Number 16. So yeah, Williamsport Crosscutters, the single-A affiliate of the Phillies. Another Scott Kingery jersey here. This one, the powder blue. Scott Kingery, probably one of my favorite players on the Phillies. Probably my favorite player. Uh, him, Harper, and McCutcheon. 
probably my top three. And Nola, too. As you can see, my Aaron Nola jersey. The red one, they don't wear this as much as they should. Um, this is a really clean jersey. They kind of wear it for their um, spring training games, but not much else. This one, this one is a special jersey. I helped design this jersey for the Reading Fighting Phils for their uh, Go Green Night. As you can see, my design incorporated into it was just the green pinstripes and the green sleeves. I thought that looked good. And then other people added this Fightin's logo written out in trees and all sorts of recycling stuff. Uh, the logo on This logo on the side is really cool. I don't know if you can see that. And then a trash can and then the number one with the light bulb on the back. So yeah, and I got to throw out the first pitch. I have that up on my channel. Uh, so if you want to go find that, you can. Next one. Custom. Philadelphia Union jersey, MLS, right there, uh, on the back, Jungait at Parate, uh, I forget what that means, it's the Union saying, I believe it means join or die, but I could be wrong, and it is my number, or name and number, as you can see the lettering is kind of falling off here, um, the MLS doesn't do a great job with their numbers, or their sewing, so MLS, start getting stitched jerseys, come on. Another custom jersey for me here, my Webster 26 Eagles jersey. Uh, a lot of people ask me why I wear number 26. Uh, it's because of Chase Utley. Chase Utley is my favorite all-time player in any sport. And as you can see, this one has the NFL 100 logo on it. So that's pretty cool. Miles Sanders currently wears 26 for the Eagles right now. Deshaun Jackson jersey. I had a Deshaun Jackson jersey when I was little. Definitely one of my favorite jerseys. And then when he came back to the Eagles... I got surprised with this one. Um, I, I have a lot of the same jerseys from when I was a kid. This being one of them and the Utley one being one of them. So yeah, Deshaun Jackson, probably my favorite Eagle. LaShawn McCoy is definitely up there too. Next, Zach Ertz, white jersey. One of the only white football jerseys I will probably ever own because they do get dirty very easily. So there's Zach Ertz. My old Deshaun Jackson jersey, I forgot to add, was, I believe, a different brand. I think Reebok made it back then. This one, probably the most random jersey I own. It is a Jordan Matthews jersey. Jordan Matthews has been on the Eagles three times, and he's worn 81, I think, one of those times. He didn't come back. He wore 80, I think, in both the times he came back. But Jordan Matthews, man, him and Wentz would connect. They had the cool handshake where they do the suit and it was cool so i really like jordan matthews unfortunately uh i don't think he's playing anywhere anymore this one vince papali if you've seen the movie invincible very good movie if you haven't seen it very simple jersey back when the eagles used to have absolutely no logos on their jerseys people always ask me if this is a jets jersey no it's not um next one of the greatest Philly athletes of all time, Brian Dawkins, number 20. Simple green one. I have a lot of Eagles jerseys. <laughs> Next, Carson Wentz, green one. Not much of that one. This one, I was wearing when the Eagles won the Super Bowl. I wore it throughout that entire season. Um, and I wore the same shorts, same hat. Uh, this is my lucky jersey. Even though it hasn't been incredibly lucky the last two years, uh, hopefully it can be lucky once again. As you can see, the numbers are fading off here uh, from wear and tear. But I still love this jersey. I should probably just frame this thing. Next one. Villanova football jersey, number 42. My great-grandfather played for Villanova. He was a center back in the 30s. Uh, so my aunt surprised me with this for um, a present, and it's a very cool jersey. A lot of people ask me who Gezer is. It's my great-grandfather. He played for the team. On to the Sixers jerseys. First one, Joel Embiid. The throwback that the Sixers were wearing this year. We'll see if they wear it at all uh, once they come back and start playing at Disney. So we'll see. StubHub logo. Always important to get that in there. Makes the jersey very official. 
This one, Ben Simmons jersey. It is Adidas, so this one was before they switched over to Nike. The red one with the stars down the side. They don't wear this one anymore. They should. It's very, very clean. Then the first year that they were doing the uh, um, City Edition, this was it. Ben Simmons with the um, font of, I guess, the Declaration of Independence. They tried to do the Declaration of Independence colors. Certainly got interesting. Um, Joel Embiid again, the blue one. I believe they still wear this for away games. It just It's Nike now. And there's also uh, some different lettering on the Philadelphia part, or just the Phila part. Next one, Charles Barkley. Old school Adidas. When Adidas used to make it. Barkley, my dad's favorite player of all time. This one's really cool. Unfortunately, no championships, but that's that's for the 80s to worry about. Now, my custom jersey, 26 again, Webster. Nike, as you can see, the lettering I was talking about, this is what it looks like now uh, on those blue jerseys. So, yeah. This one's really cool, too. I love this jersey. On the Flyers jerseys, first one we got here is a Sean Couturier Stadium Series jersey. Flyers would win this game in epic fashion. Claude Giroux with the overtime goal. The burnt orange color, I like this one a lot. One of the only times the Flyers logo has been edited at all. Next one, Travis Konechny. Even though I don't think he played in this game, I still got the jersey. Uh, the 2017 Stadium Series in Pittsburgh. The All Black, they wear this as the alternate now. Probably one of the best jerseys in Flyers history. It's so clean. I mean, that one, that one's nice. This one, Flyers incorporated a little bit of gold for their 50th season. Claude Giroux, 50th season patch right there. If you couldn't see it, it wasn't all the way out. I love this one. Hopefully they wear it for maybe their 100th anniversary, 50 years from now. This one, he hasn't played many games in the NHL, but I'm counting on him to be one of the best. It's the Hockey Fights Cancer, very appropriate for this year because Oscar Lindblom um, had cancer. He's currently battling it, I think, still. He might have uh, gone through all of his chemo treatments. I love this one. This is probably one of the top 10 on these jerseys. This one, the Adidas logo is on the front, too. Is this the last one? Last one. Shane Gosses Bear. In the minors right now. Been a little bit of a disappointment ever since he came back up. But uh, hopefully he can fix that. Lots of trade rumors around him. This is the 2012 Winter Classic style there where this is an alternate for a while. And Ghost was really good in this jersey. I think there's a very famous picture of him um, celebrating after one of his scary slap shot goals and uh yeah that'll do it there was 33 of these and you'll see why that's of significance when my dad starts talking okay welcome back to flip the script all philadelphia jersey edition you've seen shaley and her six jerseys fletch and lottie with their two jerseys each and jackson with his 33 jerseys so i'm going to go through my jerseys right now and it just happens to be exactly 41 jerseys which makes mine and jack's jerseys 41 to 33 which as you know is the score of super bowl 52 where the eagles finally got their championship so starting with flyers i got my 2019 um against pittsburgh for the stadium series this is carter hart this is their newest jersey Actually, one of my favorites. I love the simplicity of the, of the design. I love the dark orange off the black. Next jersey is my 2012 Winter Classic, Claude Giroux. This kind of really started uh, the Flyers going into New Jersey's. This right here is my Provorov 2017 Stadium Series. And we go to our 2017... 50th anniversary with the Shane Gostas Bear. Also has the Ed Schneider patch on it. Another one of the great jerseys. I don't really wear this one anymore, but they the, did the gold bordering. Next one is, of course, a new classic gritty in the, in the traditional orange lovely jersey. And then we go 
old school bootleg when the Winter Classic was taking place in 2012. This was rumored to be the jersey they were going to release. It's an old Philadelphia Quakers jersey. Love this jersey. They did not actually end up wearing this jersey, but it's still one of my favorite jerseys to wear. Claude Giroux 2012 jersey that they never actually wore, but it's a throwback. And next we go to the custom. This was a jersey that uh, one of my friends gave me. Classic jersey. It didn't have a name or a number on it, ironically. So we added, or it had the 17 on it, but it didn't have a name. So we were about to put Simmons on it, Wayne Simmons, but we knew he was about to be traded. So we just went with the custom jersey. So of all of our custom jerseys for the five main sports, this is the only one that doesn't have 26 on it. This one has 17. This right here is my Mike Richards 2010 Winter Classic that was played in Boston. Uh, I think the orange is a tad off on this jersey. Fits a little tight, but still, this was the first of the Winter Classic out, uh, outdoor game type jerseys that they released. Although I think the 2012 one is better and kind of started the trend. And last but not least for my Flyers, this is possibly the oldest jersey I have in my collection. This is an early 90s jersey that my mom got me probably when I was 15 or 16. Uh, not much to it. It's just simple, but I've been wearing this jersey for 30 plus years. No name, no number, but it has the iconic crest on it. Okay, now we're moving into Eagles jerseys. I think there was nine Flyers jerseys. So when the Eagles finally won the Super Bowl, I ordered a bunch of jerseys afterwards to celebrate it. So here's the iconic Nick Foles. Super Bowl 52 patch jersey on it. Obviously, Nick Foles led us to the promised land. Uh, absolute one of my favorite jerseys. Also from Super Bowl 52, Fletcher Cox. Also from Super Bowl 52, Jay Ajayi, who actually when he came back to the Eagles, I believe wore a different number, but he wore 36 in the Super Bowl. Also from Super Bowl 52, Malcolm Jenkins. Classic jersey, even though he's gone now. Still wear that one with pride. Alshon Jeffrey, Super Bowl 52 jersey. Still there, hoping he can have a good year when he comes back right now. And the last Super Bowl jersey I have is Zach Ertz, number 86. Game-winning touchdown. Who can forget him diving across? Another great jersey. All in the green that they wore that day. Uh, this is not a Super Bowl jersey, but this is looks very similar. This is my Carson Wentz, also green. And here's my old old school LaShawn McCoy. Really hoping that the Eagles will re-sign him. Hopefully he'll just take the minimum and come back and finish out his career where he started. Still mad at Chip Kelly all these years later for trading my favorite player. And my favorite player before LaShawn McCoy was Brian Westbrook, number 36. Possibly my all-time favorite Eagle, right along with uh, Mike Quick. This jersey I've had for one of the longest, too. And another jersey, Jeremy Macklin. We let him go over a million dollars a year. We offered him five years, $50 million, I believe. The Chiefs gave him five, fifty-five million. And we never really recovered from losing Jeremy Macklin, LaShawn McCoy, and Deshaun Jackson. Ironically, I don't have a Deshaun Jackson jersey. But Jackson did have one of those. And last but not least, the old school Kelly Green. And it is Swoop to go along with our gritty. So that is my Eagles jerseys. Moving on to my Philadelphia Union jerseys. I have the same amount as Jackson. And it looks like the exact same jersey because it is. When we had one of these jerseys, we took it to have the number embroidered on it. And they messed it up. And so they just gave us another jersey for free and put the numbering on it uh soccer jerseys are killing me whether it's uh union or usa jerseys they never they sew on the patches but they never sew on the names and numbers and the stuff just never stays you can never dry these they don't last long term they're just not made as well i don't know why soccer goes that route on to basketball charles barkley my all-time favorite player in basketball jackson has the same jersey You'll notice sometimes we have similar jerseys because I'll order a size and it won't fit. So then I'll order another one so that I can have the size that actually is supposed to fit. So this is a Charles Barkley in the classic 80s red. Uh, my Dr. J in the 70s. 
This is an absolute amazing jersey. They should have won that title in 77 when they were wearing these jerseys, but uh, blew a 2-0 lead to Portland. Doctor never gets the recognition that he deserves. Here is my city edition, Joel Embiid. Hopefully Joel's been getting in shape. So when we come back, he can make a run. This is Ben Simmons. This was not a city edition. I think this was just an alternate jersey that they wore, but I don't see them wear this one a whole lot anymore. And last Ben Simmons jersey right here. This was also a city edition this year, I believe, or the year before. And I liked how it had the, the, the scroll of all Philadelphia across it. Um, one of my favorite new jerseys that they actually wear. Now on to baseball, which I have probably more than any other sport. Here's my throwback, Bryce Harper, although it's not so much of a throwback anymore because they wear this quite a bit. Then we go into my 2009 World Series, Jimmy Rollins, the Harry Carey patch, 2009 World Series patch. Harry Callis. Harry Callis. Sorry. Not Harry Carey. Sorry. <laughs> Jax will have to fix that. The Harry Callis patch with the 2009 World Series. And then we go to my Cliff Lee. This is just a black jersey. This is not anything that they ever wore. Uh, just sometimes they make off colors. This one I thought actually looked really good with the black and the red. Cliff Lee, who came back to Philly in 2011, who we never should have traded after we saw, signed Roy Holiday, unfortunately. And speaking of Roy Holiday, this is the 2011 National League All-Star jersey. This was the game that we were at that year. Holiday, Lee, Hamels all made it. Ironically, Polanco and Victorino also made it. But that year, Howard, Utley, and Rollins did not make it. And uh, so we were at this game. I only wish that we could have kept Roy Holiday and Cliff Lee in 2010. Would have had a better shot at winning uh, the World Series that year. Uh, another one of those years that got away, 2009, 2010, 2011. Uh, sad that Roy is no longer with us, but I like to wear this jersey. Jack likes this. This is probably the jersey that Jack steals from me the most. Uh, this is my Chase Utley 2009 World Series. Should have got these 2008 World Series. Uh, the Callus Patch again, 2009 World Series. The one, the one and only series that A Rod actually played good in when he was cheating on steroids. Utley hit five home runs in that. Utley series. did hit five home runs in that series. Here is my Ryan Howard. Just the uh, road gray. Classic, but I like it. Fortunately, injuries after 2011 derailed his Hall of, what would have been a Hall of Fame career. Cole Hamels, also in the road gray. Another just a classic, simple. Um, unfortunately, after we signed Cole, that big deal, the team took it, just kind of went south. And we had a chance to re-sign him after he left, left Texas. We had a chance to re-sign him again this year, and we haven't. And it's really disappointing because we could have had him for almost nothing coming out of Texas and knowing he was coming back to the national league and he's done great with the Cubs and now he's with the Braves if there's ever a season, but he should be back with us. Here is a, this is a old school, the old, the old zipper up Bryce Harper. I think they wore this one game in the 79 and then they broke it out again this year. It's a, a rare Jersey. They wore this with the red pants for one game. That was the red pants for one game. They might have wore the jersey for more than one game. And uh, it's the zipper up. And they wore this again, I think, in 2019. So, They've worn it twice. So in, in, se history. in 79 and 19, so they 40 years. Both games. <laughs> so it's uh, it's kind of a cool jersey because it's – although a lot of the Phillies 80s jerseys were zipper up, um, most of them they don't sell like that anymore. But this is might be the only zipper up jersey that we have. Um, this is my – Batting practice, Scott Kingery jersey. Uh, just a simple red, but everything with the, the Phillies red, blue, and white just kind of sits well off each other. Um, here we go with one of my favorite jerseys, Fanatic, that goes along with my swoop and my gritty. I like the old school feel of it because when I was a kid, this is what they would wear in the 80s was this style. So I um, like to wear this jersey too. So we have a picture of one of us wearing the Fanatic, one of us wearing swoop, and one of us wearing gritty. And uh, it's fun to dress up like the mascots. I'm going to save this one. This one is another throwback. This is my all-time favorite baseball player, Mike Schmidt. So, again, this is the jersey he wore during that time. So 
Uh, probably my favorite jersey to wear. This isn't from that time. I've, I've got it much more recent, but my favorite player all time. Mike Schmidt was sad when he retired in 89. Glad that he still does broadcasting for the Phillies and is part of the organization. This, you'll see, is a jersey that, was, that Jackson designed, and they wore the Reading Fighting Phils wore in 2017. There was a design a jersey contest for Recycle. So he designed the main theme of it. And uh, he had his that he actually got to wear on the field and they were doing it. You couldn't buy other jerseys, but you could bid on auctions for players. And so I put $20 down to win a jersey and I ended up getting Austin Davis, number 55, uh, the, his game worn jersey. So pretty happy to have that. And it's ginormous, so it'll pretty much fit forever. Uh, I think we were one of the last two people called that night to uh, win a jersey. This one we probably ought to frame one day. Um, uh, it's pretty cool when we see him pitch, knowing that we have his uh, signed jersey. A lot of little details on this, like Jax went over with the, like the recycling bin on one side and the guy pitching a uh, like a water bottle on the other side, uh, the light bulb on the back. Very rare jersey. You won't see that very often. This jersey right here. Another one of my absolute favorites. This was also a Reading Fighting Phils. You know, minor league teams have gotten really big into doing uh, certain themes. Like they did a cheesesteaks one. They've done all sorts of one. They've done, uh, what else have they done? They've done they did the kids. Whiz Kids. I have they a Whiz did, Kids shirt. They do like pretzels sometimes. Pretzels, yeah. But all, all across the minor leagues, they've done it. So this has images of the Fanatic when he was um, at Reading in the 80s when he'd go and visit and at Citizens Bank Park. Um, just a great jersey. Uh, didn't get this one on, on a good deal like I got most of the other ones. Had to had to pay full price for this one. <laughs> but one of the best jerseys I have and a lot of people like it when they see that. Um, this jersey right here is one of the oldest jerseys I have. Long before I got into buying jerseys, this I basically had just a couple and this was one of them. This was my catch-all Phillies jersey. Just a old school but I, I love the little blue striping across it. No name, no number, just Phillies across. But this is the the one you wear when you just want to go straight red and you don't want to, if you don't want to represent a certain player that night, you just go this one. And this jersey is probably the oldest jersey I have in my collection, along with that Flyers one I showed you. Uh, my sister got me this one, like, for my 15th or 16th birthday. The old school, uh, the old school road that they used to wear in the 80s, just a simple patch on the side. No name or number, but again, I've had this jersey forever and one of my absolute favorites. So there are my 41 jerseys. And we have one bonus jersey right here. So this was my dad's jersey. My dad's no longer with us, unfortunately. He passed away in 2014. But this is his Richie Ashburn jersey. So this is way back in the 50s. So it's got the number one on it and the Phillies jersey. And I don't wear this one very often, but every now and again, I'll wear this one on Father's Day or sometimes in June, in and around um, if we go to Philly. We would be in Philly right now, but uh, a lot of things going on in the country, so we're right here. So that is our collection of Philadelphia jerseys. Hope you enjoyed it.